you don't need to go to a doctor to go and remove something to remove implants to remove IUCD once you're done you're done you can decide to stop it and have a baby anytime so it's easily reversible what's up beautiful people welcome to another exciting episode of new mom with dr oh you already know mm -hmm. and today i'm coming right back at you with another interesting topic because like i always say we only discuss interesting topics on this show today we're going to be discussing everything you need to know about oral contraceptive pills right birth control pills in other news we might soon be having birth control pills for men Ooh. is somebody rejecting me finally men who can start taking birth control so it's not only women 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 all the time let them to take pills for some time let them see how it is true so basically there was a trial that was done recently and said that they tested birth control pills on male mice and it was 99 percent effective can you beat that so they are starting human trials soon as at the time of recording this video human trials are starting soon who knows maybe next year next two years next three years we are finally going to have male birth control pill how do you feel about this tell me about it would you recommend that your partner uses it guys would you use the male birth control pill okay so anyway this video is not about the male birth control pill it's about the one for females that have been tried and tested and people already use right because when you just become a new mom the next thing on your mind obviously is contraception because you don't want to have another baby just yet like you're still dealing with the one on ground right so you need a break so and you know on this um show we've talked about different types of contraception that are available to you so now i'm going to be breaking them down one by one i have a video where i talked about the copper iucd everything you need to know about the copper iucd i'll link it down below on the end screen or just look for it in the new one playlist is there for you right so today's video is actually about oral contraceptive pills okay so oral contraceptive pills are exactly what they sound like oral contraceptive pills so they are pills tablets that you need to take every day right and they are hormonal so they contain hormones and what they do is to prevent pregnancy which is the reason you're taking it in the first place right there are two types of oral contraceptive pills we have the combined oral contraceptive pills and we have the mini pill okay the combined oral contraceptive pills why do we call them combined what are they combining okay so they contain two hormones or two synthetic hormones so that's the estrogen and the progestin hormones inside one pill whereas the mini pill only contains the progestin let's talk about how you use them how they come so they normally come in packs like this so this is an oral contraceptive pill name of the pill is Dexofem, and this is an oral contraceptive pill so this is really what it looks like and it, they are nice enough to have labeled it with the day so there's monday tuesday wednesday thursday so you know you don't miss a date if you miss it you know that hmm, today is sunday but the pill is still saying uh, saturday that means i didn't take my dose yesterday that's one of the downsides of this you need to remember to take it every day for me that can be really frustrating especially for people that don't even like taking drugs in the first place like i don't like drugs and then i have things every day see guys if you can take this every day for the rest of your life then people that are hypertensive don't have any excuse for not taking anti-hypertensive because it's still the same thing so there are two types combined oral contraceptives and the mini pill we already said combined has two different hormones while the mini pill has just progestin so how do these two work so the combined oral contraceptive what it does is that it prevents your ovaries from releasing an egg okay so that means it's preventing ovulation not only that it's now thicken the cervical mucus that is cervical mucus right you know normally when you're ovulating the cervical mucus is supposed to be thin so that sperm can pass through swim through easily what this pill does is now thicken the cervical mucus so that sperm won't easily be able to pass through then it will now if by mistake egg was released it will slow the progression of the egg down the fallopian tube then it will now thin the endometrium the, so the endometrium is like the inner lining of your uterus right the inner wall of your uterus is to thin it so that sperm will not be able to go and meet that egg if, if at all it escapes that's what they combine does meanwhile the progestin pretty much does the same thing except that it doesn't prevent ovulation what it does is that it will slow the progression of the egg down the fallopian tube it will thicken the cervical mucus 
I need to thin the endometrium so that let's see how that sperm and egg will meet. So basically that's how it prevents pregnancy. So the thing about these oral contraceptive pills, right, they come in packs like I already described, okay. Some of them come in packs of 28 pills. So this means in each pack there are active pills and there are inactive pills, okay. The active pills are the ones that con contain the hormones that help you to prevent pregnancy. But then the inactive pills are the ones that are like placebo, so they contain nothing. So what happens is when you take the active pills, is preventing pregnancy but when you are taking inactive pills the reason why it's making you take those inactive pills is so that you can experience something called withdrawal bleeding so when you stop taking that oral contraceptive then you start to see your period so you see some that have 21 active pills and seven inactive pills give it that seven day time frame let me use the word time frame to so have your period right so that you can have that withdrawal bleeding that's something that will come with 24 active and four inactive so give you that four day period to have your bleeding and there are some that were made in heaven. They come with 84 active and 7 inactive. So with this kind of pills, the calculation is that you only have a period about 4 times a year. Can you beat that? It's not like there's anything wrong with you. Only 4 times a year that you have to deal with periods. Oh my gosh. For me, that's heaven. One of the pros of using this oral contraceptive pills is that you, you get less period cramps. So period cramps are less painful. And then your periods are more accurate. So yes people normally have regular flows and all that but even no matter how regular your flows you're like okay the period is supposed to come today and it might come tomorrow it's supposed to come day after day and stuff like that but this one you can predict exactly when your period is going to come because you control when your period comes okay so now to answer the question are oral contraceptive pills suitable for everyone the answer is unfortunately no so if you have a risk of breast cancer if you have a um, history of heart disease or if you're at risk of heart disease if you have poorly controlled high blood pressure if you just put to bed so basically like a new mom right like what we're discussing last six weeks and all that then this oral contraceptive pill may not be suitable for you also if you have a blood clotting disorder this oral contraceptive pills may not be suitable for you because they will increase your risk of those medical conditions so doctors would advise against it if you have any of these conditions and there are actually a couple more right so before deciding to take oral contraceptive pills it's best that you speak with your doctor because your doctor knows your medical history so you would discuss with your doctor and both of you will arrive on what's suitable for you so let's talk about the advantages of choosing the oral contraceptive pills okay so everything has advantages and disadvantages so right now we're talking about the advantages so oral contraceptive pills what do you stand to gain if you use them first and foremost it is easily reversible so let's say you're taking the pills taking pills and you decide that okay i'm ready to have another baby now guess what all you need to do is stop taking the pill and your body will go back to normal like you can get pregnant at any time during your next ovulation going forward okay so that's great you don't need to go to a doctor to go and remove something to remove implants to remove IUCD to once you're done you're done right you can decide to have your baby stop it and have the baby anytime so it's easily restful that's great another thing is like i said earlier the period cramps are less so they're not as painful as they used to be before you started taking them and another thing is that your periods are now lighter, shorter, and they're more predictable. So it doesn't catch you on our way like the rest of us. You know when exactly your period is going to come. So the downside. Now we talked about the advantages. Let's talk about the downside. The downside of taking this oral contraceptive is one there is increased risk of blood clots yeah so something that we call deep vein thrombosis you can have a clot clot to become an emboli that can travel from wherever it's formed to some other blood vessel in the body and block it right and cause other damages it can cause heart attack it can cause stroke right because of the risk of blood clots so you really don't want that for yourself of course not everyone would experience this just because it's a risk doesn't mean it will happen to you but the risk is there that that can happen if it possible so it increases your risk for all those things and another thing is if you keep taking the pills or you take them late then it might not be as effective right so that's another thing you want to consider that you have to remember to take them every day you have to set alarm you cannot afford to miss a dose you can't afford to skip a dose if you are sure you want it to be effective which can be a huge chore if you ask me anyways if you enjoyed watching this video so far don't forget to click the like button subscribe and share with someone who you think needs to see this remember at the beginning of this video i asked a question would you advise your partner to use the oral contraceptive pills i mean the stress of remembering to use it every day that you've been going through all these years don't you want to pass on the responsibility so would you advise your partner to do that or if you're a guy watching this video would you take the male oral contraceptive pill 
let's know those who are for and against the male oral contraceptive pill remember being a new mom may be pretty overwhelming but your kids are totally worth it see you next week